Hello everyone, and welcome back from a brief hiatus from the Friday New Product Post videos. Uh, we do have a video this week. We've got a couple different products to talk about, a little bit of a demo, and um, yeah, so let's uh, take a look at what we've got for this week. These are spring connectors. These are reminiscent to the old style um, electronic kits that you saw like way back in the days. They would have like these little spring terminals that you'd feed the wires into. We decided that we really haven't seen this around anymore and we decided to kind of bring it back. And the difference between these and a the normal spring is you can see they sit pretty flat. Uh, we actually have the bottoms of them ground down so that they sit nice and flush. We also have an Eagle Library footprint for these, so you can roll your own board that has a footprint for these and actually reflow them with the spring or you can hand solder the spring on there. So here is a really small board that I have um, four of the springs on there and you can see they just pull up like that, pull the wire out, so boom, there you go. In addition to the little footprint um, that we've got here that you can download from the Eagle Library and make your own board, um, you can use it that way, but let's say you want to use it on some existing boards that you have. Um, here I've got just a RG Motor Shield, just something I grabbed out of the bin, and it's got this nice little prototyping area on it, and I'm going to show you just how to easily connect some of these spring connectors into the prototyping area. So I'm just going to put some solder right here on this little pad, and I'm going to take this and actually position it right in the corner, just like that. We've got a pad here, here, and over here. They're just barely touching the corners, so we'll just tack those four. So now, we have a spring connector, and it's actually pretty strong. I mean, I'm pulling at it all the way, and it's staying. So these are very sturdy if you solder them like that. And of course I didn't connect any wires to it, but you could just pop a wire through any of those four holes when you're soldering it. And then now you have a nice, simple way to connect a wire, just like that. And you can pull them right out. Nick actually threw this together using a bunch of these little spring connectors. We've got an Atmega 328 here, we've got a couple of pots, we've got a battery, we've got an FTDI, and everything here is connected with just these spring terminals, except for on the underneath side, these spring terminals are wired directly into the Atmeg 328. Um, we've got just a very simple little demo setup. Press this button, it makes tones. And you can adjust it like that. But this is a fully functional little prototyping machine. Um, we've got the FTDI wired into the TX and RX onto the um, Atmeg. We've got all the different resistor values here and we've even got the crystal just um, into one of these spring connectors. So it's a versatile little um, example of how you can use these and you know it's a throwback to the good old-fashioned vintage kits of yesteryear. Next up we've got this little kit. This is the ISP Pogo adapter. We have this nice cable, uh, we've got the PCB, nice little JST connector, uh, we've got a couple of standoffs, we've got the screws, the um, actual six pin header, and then we've got six pogo pins. So when you get it put together, it looks a little something like this. And you can see on the bottom here, we've got these pogo pins, which have a nice little spring to them. So if you've ever tried to program something um, over the um, ISP port, you notice it's kind of a pain in the butt if you don't want to actually solder to it. Um, and sometimes you don't have the option to solder to it. So the idea is you'd have your board, place it over top, and you can just spring it down on there and you make a nice good connection with all six pins. Um, and we have a nice supplemental video on how to assemble this and how to use this, so check out the full supplemental video on the ISP Pogo Adapter. So these are our new products for this week. Um, as always, we have one more new product on the website to talk about, so go ahead and check out all three new products on the website for this week. Um, hope you liked the demo. Hope you liked the supplemental videos. We'll be back next week with more new products and some more demos. So see you then.